right, topic three. The mic Microsoft announces Xbox One S and Scorpio. What do you think about that announcement? I don't think the Slim was 100% necessary at this point. I think releasing that isn't really going to do anything for them. I think it is because the price. $300, same price for two terabytes, smaller, the power bricks inside. For people who don't have it, though, yeah. yeah it makes it. But, like, for people who do have it, then they're not going to go out buy it. Like, I'm not going to Well, it's also 4K enabled, and people who have 4K TVs have yeah, it. I'm not going to buy it. I mean, the Scorpio, definitely I'm going to get it. All right, so I think the Xbox Scorpio really put, put PS4 Neo in a little, little hole there. Because from what they're saying, Scorpio is kind of like its own. It's own console base. It's like the next Xbox console. Like it's four, like four times more powerful. What they're saying. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, and Neo wasn't gonna be that powerful when it's coming out. Dude, it was gonna be like four K. It's, it's not like the Xbox VR. One S. That's what it kind of sounded like. Yeah. It's just gonna be like. It's just for the VR and for the four K. So what I think happened. Oh I'll fucking destroy you. <laughs> I'll I fucking kill you. What I think happened is. I'm PS fucking sad. PS4 was gonna say something about Neo. I feel like E3. Yeah. And Xbox is right before PlayStation, and then, and then they watch. No, they confirmed <laughs> they, they, they confirmed they were bringing Neo. Before. They weren't. Yeah, they confirmed that before. Oh, like they weren't gonna say anything. Yeah, about they it were never gonna do anything about it. Okay. But I'm sure, like, when PlayStation saw Xbox's conference, and they uh, they saw them reveal the Scorpio and how powerful this thing is gonna be, and how innovative it's gonna be. That's just gonna be bad. Um, and I'm guessing I'm willing what, to pay for that. Huh? I'm, I'm saying like Sony's probably thinking like, wow, we really gotta change what we did with the Neo and make it more powerful for one match that console. They don't need to, though. They have VR. That's their that's their selling point right there. Is VR. The Xbox doesn't have VR. I don't think the VR is gonna be that much of a game changer. I think it is. Do you? I think VR that's is. New way it's the, I feel like it's the weakest of the, out of all the virtual reality headsets, but it's the no, cheapest and more affordable. I don't think it's gonna be. Besides, I don't, the, yeah, the gear. Yeah, the, the I don't gear. think they're gonna be viable for at least another couple of years. I, I think like couple, three years around there, like three, four years down the line. Then I think it'll make a difference. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna make a difference now. I think it's stuck like, to right now. Yeah, yeah. I think I think VR is gonna be the first one to really, because it's gonna be cheap and affordable for people. Yeah. And if, for people who already have the PlayStation, it's just easier to buy it. I still don't think it's gonna make a difference. Because if you're gonna get the other virtual reality headsets, then you need a fucking fifteen hundred dollar computer. Yeah, you need a really good PC, and that's just a lot of money added to it. Well, I guess we'll see. We will see, and that's coming out what, October, I think. Twenty third. October thirteenth. October thirteenth. So it's in Best Buy now. Supposedly, it's shipped out the stores. All right. So topic four.